Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mario RPG, Quest for the Seven Stars, and we are in Booster Tower, about to proceed forward. As you notice, the music has once again changed, and if you remember from the last episode, I had to figure out the doors, and at this point, it's been about a good two weeks since I actually did that first portion, so I cannot remember at all. But I'm going to give this a shot anyway. So let's see if I can do this. Oldest to youngest. Nope, that was wrong. So every time you get it wrong, you do a boss, you do a battle. That's simple. And I'm going to just get rid of these enemies. Nice and simple. Especially you, because I hate you. And then I'll leave out, I guess, that door that's in the back of the map. Okay. Hmm. Pretty sure eye patch was three. Teeth was last. It was you? Okay. Okay. It's one. Eye patch was two. Eye patch was not two. Eye patch was something else. It doesn't help. Now it does it. Uh, so. Bit of an update. Um, sounds a little bit different now because I'm actually using a uh, headset now. Before I was just using the computer speaker system. So I don't know how this sounds, if this sounds any different. If it does, please let me know, and if it's good or bad. Because I'd rather keep this at best quality. And now I start again. That's one. Okay. Shades? Terminator? Not Terminator. Okay. This might take a while because, again, I have no idea what order this is. I forgot. Uh, I could look it up, but then what's the fun in that? So I'm just going to continue what I do best. And that's killing enemies. Getting experience. So now the board resets. That's one. That's two. Okay. Pirate is three. Shades is four. Glasses is five. And for six, Booster himself. With the key. The Elder Key. Here is this one. Okay. The Elder Key. Elder Key opens up the door. Just like that. Oh, and look. What do we have here? Yep, hold on, gotta remember how to do this. Uh, I gotta time my jump here, I keep forgetting about this. Oh, why can't I time this jump? Come on. No, that's not it. I jump this. Alright guys, so I'm just having issues right now trying to jump. Because it is not working for some reason. Let's see, dash. I can jump here. But why can I not combo the jump and dash? The problem is I can't press more than three buttons at a time, but for some reason this jumping dashing isn't working. So I'm trying to figure this out. Hmm. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. Alright, for some reason the one button wasn't working. Okay. Fix that later. They gaze into each other's eyes. Ooh. All 
her. She's a bit shy. Oh, it's a she. How can you tell? So I guess we're looking the other way. And that's it. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster. So now she wants to help us stir up a little trouble. That sounds like fun. Alright, so let's let's equip that because Bowser doesn't have a weapon yet. And being Bowser's strength is already really high. Helps for a little bit more fun. With the increase in attack. Let's see what this does. So as you notice, the music continues to change back and forth, depending on where you are. So now we're here. And carefully making our way up. Now you see, funny thing about Booster Tower is you don't really go up that high. The entire, like, half of the tower is simply doing that. And you arrive up here. And another part that I'm going to have to do a decent amount of jump dashes on, I... Hopefully I can get the hang of this now, for the jump dashes. In, you know, the actual normal game of this, it's not really that hard to master. You know, you, you press the arrow button, you press the uh, arrows in such a way that you're pressing up and left at the same time, or up and right, or down left, down right, whichever. And, as such, you end up, uh... What is that, eerie jig? Oh, I'm a scarecrow now. Uh, but so, as such, you can also press Y and B at the same time, and it registers the multiple motions. And it looks like I gotta jump on this guy. It just doesn't kill him. Strange. Ah, there it goes. Now, you see, the only uh, item that. the only uh, weapon that I use in this game that I kind of don't like using is the spike ball, which you'll see later on. It's actually next step up. It's about two steps up. And it's a strong item. But can I get the Yoshi? Hey, I got the Yoshi! But yeah, so it's a strong item, and but it just causes... It looks weird. I'll show you guys when I get there. Uh, I'm so happy I just got the Yoshi right there. Uh, jump? Okay, good. I didn't have to dash jump that. Maybe I can get by you? I can't. Yeah, about Oh, what? They just walked by me. Okay. That works. Is there something down here? Hmm. Guess there's nothing down here. Uh, so it's... Back across. And now I should battle these enemies because, you know what, it helps. Every little bit of stat boost helps. So... I'll do what I can. I gotta get back into the timing, too. I was on vacation the other week, so I haven't been playing this for a while. I've kind of been had, like, pre-uploaded videos kind of thing. This is actually one of the first ones I've made in a while. So yeah, uh, finish up this battle. Um, so on. So forth. Jump over you, because I really don't want to battle you. Oh gosh, this. Okay, this room, don't touch any part of the floor that doesn't have the coin that doesn't have coin. If you touch part of the coin, that happens. You start battling two fire guys. They're basically it's basically booby trapping the floor. It's one of those Indiana Jones things. Yeah, it's gonna do some decent damage. Now, you see, they're not really that hard of enemy, they're kinda just... nuisances. And it just kinda gets bothersome after a while. So I'm just gonna take care of these guys real quick. And I have a chance of doubling my experience. I always take the devil. I'll always take the risk. Please. Number one. 
and I fail miserably. Don't even tie, don't even... no, I just lose all my experience points. That trap was for nothing. Okay, so back to this. Gonna figure out a way across. Going to jump. Looking here. More chomps, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Jump here. Step here. Jump here. Step here. Step back. Working without coins. That was a good jump. And the jump. Made it. Thank you. Not bad. Oh, okay. The floor is kind of alright. Not fully alright, but kind of alright. Alright enough that I can get back close to the door without having to worry about most traps. Until I get drained. So you see how easy it is for me to kill these guys. And I got another lucky. Good thing about these enemies, they give out luckies. Being they don't give coins, all the luckies go to experience. You can also see, uh, as you went, go up in games, uh, you notice how I get more experience. Beginning I would get one or two, now I get six. So yeah. Got the tie. I don't know why it's a bird. It's weird. But I don't know. Battling two more fire guys. As if... There's like a lot of these things, aren't there? What? 42 damage? What? How does that even happen? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to heal him now, aren't I? That's gonna be good. He's gonna die. I'm gonna heal him. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna step to this door. Open it up. Step inside. There's a chest. I don't know what's in the chest. I'm gonna take the chest first before. Zoom shoes. Ooh. That's beneficial. Well, I'll go to equip quickly. No, don't close it out. Go to equip. Speed up by 10. That is good. I'm gonna give that to Bowser, because Bowser's pretty slow. It also increases defense. So that's also good. Now back to what I was doing. Uh, mushrooms, mid mushrooms, maple syrups. Nope. Time to cheat. Special. Nope. I should press B, I keep pressing Z. Which is actually X. Uh, switch it to Bowser for now. Go back. Special. HP rain. Yeah, I'll use it twice to be on the safe side. Good. Switch back. And that's how you heal without using items. Time to get back now. Right here. Jump. Walk back to back here. Jump. And to the door. Not that bad. So I have to battle now a complete swarm of chain chomps. Uh, finger shot. 33. Not bad. But still. Uh, get rid of the orb user. That'll be quick. 30 damage. It's actually pretty good now. And 70 damage. So Geno is now actually my weakest. Iron Maiden? What? Oh god, it puts infatuation. Or as I call it, the shutter effect. Basically attack- everything's like halved, basically. Attack, defense, all that fun stuff. It's not fun. We'll fix this quickly. Yeah. I should fix that entirely. There. Okay, sorry, I had to fix my headset. Alright, uh, do we want to battle another one? Next, I'm gonna battle him. So I'll leave one go. 
I don't want to bore everyone out there too much with the boss battle, with the uh, enemy battles. I'll save it for the boss battles. Just like that. Masher on the raw bomb. 99. And a defense up, that helps. Body slam, not bad. Everyone's entitled to kill their own enemy. Gano killed the chain chomp. Mario killed the bomb. And Bowser killed the remote com. Makes about enough sense to me. Carrying on. Oh, part two of this. Personal railway. Amazed you made it this far. Yes, you are quite amazing. Since you're here, maybe you can clean up something for me. <laughs> the bride to be is chanting, Mario, help me, Mario, help me. Is she showing her happiness? Or is she calling for someone? Maybe Mario is another guy. What if you're the Mario? Well, now that you're putting two and two together. Why don't you take this? Well, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Right here. All those bombs. And that's how it's done. And you would end up battling him if you stayed in there. So, being I ran, it helps out. And I can't jump in there. So that's it. Okay. Well, that's... You're gonna eat me, aren't you? It's like waiting right there. That's... that's that could've hurt me. It's like he's trying to get rid of me. Everyone's always throwing me out of their castles and towers now, aren't they? It's always bothering me. Let's save. Save there. That's good. What time am I at here? Okay, I got time. I have time to do this. Oop, not like that. Gotta make the running jump here. Just like that. I mean, I wasn't even expected. I wasn't expecting to find that goodie bag. That just happened. I was only gonna go for the frog coin. But now I got the goodie bag. What does that even do? Goodie bag. Packed full of coins. I think I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, those items with the question mark. Sometimes it's just worth keeping. You don't really want to use them. Whoop, don't want to be here yet. Wait, 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 wait. Saving. Okay, I'm also, there's also an easter egg in the next room that'll show you before starting this little fun time mission. Alright, not only is there a bird in the cage. If you look closely at, this, at these dolls, you'll notice inside is not only a doll of Princess Peach, but also a doll of Samus Aran in, the, uh, in her power suit. Kind of just a little secret there, and another throw in. There's other ones too, there's like a Link in one bed and a Samus in another bed, there's also a toy R-Wing. No, I'll, I'll show you all of them if I can find them. So now, I go through this door and I start the fun. The fun of Booster's Tower. You did come to rescue me. Now that you're here, the door is locked. No, it's not even just locked. It's got a spell on it. What do we do? The key won't do it. Booster's returning. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I just wanna wait until he opens the door. Where to hide, where to hide, where to hide. In the curtains! Of course. You can move freely behind the curtains. But hide from Booster and Sniffets. So now I'm moving behind the curtains, and I'll explain this quickly uh, before this happens, where you can just read the uh, text that's going on. So basically, Booster and the Sniffets are going to attempt to find me. So, 
They're looking behind the curtains because they think someone's here. You gotta just dodge and avoid them. If you get caught, it just restarts the game again. And the only way to win the game is to get is to prevent from being caught the entire time. Hide from all three sniffets and eventually booster as well. Now you might be asking, well, if there's four people, how can you hide from all four if there's only four curtains? You shall soon find out. Wedding ceremony would make a great party, says Snippet 2. Haven't had one of those. Booster has never had a party, yet he's in like an entire play area of a tower. He doesn't even know what a party is. Well, you drink, punch, and eat cake. Pounds that Snippets don't know either. Sounds complicated. Drinking, punch, and eating cake is complicated. Hmm. Questionable. Uh. I don't know if you can muster the energy to do it. So eat cake. Alright, so let's walk through it. Oop. Now you see, I'm still... If you, you can see my shoes, you can even see me in the corner. I still have the ability to move. Hey, someone make her smile. Beautiful bread to be. Walking down the altar. Where always shows up on the other the fun. I have, you just met me! How do you know that I'm going to show up and ruin the fun? Well, at least they at least they're planning ahead. They know to take it into consideration. That's that's at least a step up. So we get the Mario doll. So this is actually the fun. They're not actually looking for you. They don't even know you're here. That's the point of hiding. Couldn't find a water if you were a fish. That's questionable. It's behind the curtains. And now, dramatic irony, we know that the piece is actually on top of the current. Uh, 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 uh. Don't get caught, don't get caught. First snippet, at least, will never really check the same curtain twice. At least after, until, not until after all four currents have been checked. So I made it through round one. I wouldn't go lose the Mario toll. Number two, you look too. And sometimes they go by patterns. Ah! Almost. They almost have me. Oh, you switch positions, you. Now they're gonna open up like that. Now they're gonna open like that. And then I dash. And I make it through round two. Now, logically speaking, they could've just let the curtains open. They should be able just to just tie up the cards, but you know what? I'm not going to question this, because it's a fun game. Number three is now looking. Nope. Denial. Nope. Ah! They at least give you time with that. Ah, they're going to run around. Whew. All of game reaction time. It was better than a party. Look out, because here I come. And I see, how do you make it through part four? You don't. Wait a second. It's right up there. Oh, hey, there's the Mario doll. We'll never be able to reach it up there. What am I going to do? Whisper into the ear. Hmm, what would one do in this kind of situation? Can't go to the menu. Can't move. Can't dash, because I can't move. Hmm. What happens if I jump? Hmm. Knocked it off the bed. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I'd like to reward you. Take this. You got the amulet. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Cats the rehearsal going on with the show. Password. The password is my name. Hmm. What are the odds? It's actually always been that. When, when the password is literally just the name of the player. You put in the character's name as Farts, the password's gonna be Farts. The snippet doll knew what happened. Eh, guess you can't push too much to it. And now we start the boss battle. And it looks like this is where we'll be ending our video, is at the end of this boss battle. So... 
enjoy. It's knife guy and great guy. And basically just to uh, so well, they're actually very obscure enemies, because you never really hear about them. This is the only time you meet them. This is it. They're not even really a boss, because you don't really get anything at the end of this. It was kind of more of just a trap. And I hear all you Star Wars fans now going, it's a trap. So... Don't judge. Just enjoy. As I jump multiple times in attempts to kill this guy. Not doing too bad. You actually get stuff depending on how well you jump, you can actually get rewards. But that comes later in the same place of Colex and all that. Which shall be released later on. So while you see me doing this, uh, I guess I'll start my closings because at the end of this battle we'll go through the sequence and that'll be the end of the video. As I get another knife thrown at me and almost die. Um, throw the chomp. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe if you like this. Uh, more subscribers. The more, the closer I will to be getting more collaborations, and I hate to say the better chance of me becoming discovered. As to uh, get more people to work with me. So uh, I will be doing. I'm planning on talking to a uh, couple people to see if I can get anything together. Oh, now they're starting the combo move. One standing on top of the other. Uh, that's right, I'm mute, so I can't do anything. Uh, Able Juice. On Mario. Just wake him up, at least. Okay. So now that Mario's back awake, time to start jumping again. Go back to Knife Guy. Seems that Knife Guy does more damage. And Great Guy. Great Guy seems to just be more of like a healer or something. Until Meteor Blast. Which almost kills me. You know what? I have that mid-mushroom. I'm gonna use it. So the problem is I don't have a healer now. Why do I keep getting- why does Gano keep getting targeted? What is this? Alright, well the good thing is I'm not using Bowser's moves, so I can just keep... ...attacking as such. Um, keep jumping, as usual. I don't have Mallow here to give me a number on HP, so I'm kind of working off what I could see. They're pretty tough. There goes uh, Knife Guy. All that leaves is Great Guy. It's gonna be oh, you're putting me back to sleep again, damn it. Why you do this? Why you do this? Where's my Apple Juice? Where's my Apple Juice? Why you do this? Too bad, because I'm all better. And I got a freebie. Bowser's mute just prevents him from using uh, Y moves, so that's no big deal. You should be dead soon. Oh, now you're putting him to sleep. Now the trick with this, though, is the effects change as they go. So, being that Bowser now is asleep, he doesn't have the uh, mute anymore. Which means all you have to do is wake him up. And now I can use the Y moves again if I want to. I won't because I'm better off just jumping. But just so you know it. I also notice. So if you go out the door from the inside, wouldn't it be flopped outside? I mean, look at the door in the back of the tower. You saw them open the door. But if they open the door, wouldn't it be? If the door hates, they fell. Wouldn't it have fallen outward, not inward? Questionable. Either that or I'm just analyzing this too much. Then again, I have played this game about half a dozen times. And he is still not dead. Why is he still not dead? Well, because I'm only down to a jump. He's still not dead. Great guy seems to probably have a lot more HP than Knife Guy. That's gotta do it. Come on. There goes 
Oh boy. This game is more of just a game of the length. It's more of just taking your time to do it, not as much as just normal, just not as much as a difficulty, it's just knowing your strategy. And I get a flower jar, so that helps. That's kind of my reward for this bottle. And I shall leave with Booster Pass. Probably my favorite, definitely one of my favorites of this. Where's the bread to be? I want to play hide and seek too. What a poor sport. Really should hurry along. Give me cake, wait to the top of the hill. Alright. Goal is chase down Booster and Toadstool. You're not going to be able to catch them. That doesn't work. But it does add a fun element to the game of just being able to chase them down. And this becomes a mini game later. You aren't invited to the wedding. Besides, you still have to plan the rehearsal. So we'll race, but I better not get in the way. I'm not going to listen to the instructions for this. I, I know how to do this. Jump on. The goal is. Nope. Press the jump on first of all, not the. Ah, I missed. All right. Where's the button? There we go. That's the goal. You have to jump on the barrels. It's soon to be the shy guys' heads. And just try to catch up to Toadstool as much as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I missed again. You start falling backwards if it takes too long. Come on, come on, the barrel, down the barrel. Where's the barrel? Where's the barrel? Oh no, I fell behind. Jump on your head. Jump on your head. Oh no, I hit you. Come on. Come on. Gotta catch you, gotta catch you. Jump on your head. No, don't hit you. Don't hit the back. Hit you. There we go. Up, jump. Again. How did I not hit that barrel? I don't know. There we go, there we go. Oh, how am I not catching them? Why do I keep hitting the shy guys? Sniffets, I'm sorry. They're called Sniffets. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, now they start waving. There we go. There's two. I want to say there's like five. Or three, I forget which. It's an odd number. There we go. It's three. If you don't get them, you can go for them in the minigame later, but I just really want to see if I can get them all now. It's like an achievement kind of thing. Ah, uh, come on. Stop waving and just... Let me go. You, I can catch you. There we go. That's four. Seems that just he gets farther and farther away with each, with each one. That's five. And that's it. That's five and that's it. Because the snippets are gone. And we hit the sign. Score, five flowers. And now, if you, and now those five flowers immediately just cash in. So now if you notice I'm up to 51. It's also a flower, ta a flower jar for me to grab here. Okay, that works. Welcome to Marymore. I actually knew it was Marymore before they even said it. So you go to the man with the face of a totem pole. He's up at the wedding hall. Yeah, he's up at the wedding hall because of something that will be explained later. For now, I'm just going to go into the shop. Um, I will do the shopping, I will upgrade myself while I close myself out here, and uh, then I will save, and we're good. Uh, I'm going to just save, I'm not going to rest. Okay. So I'm gonna buy Super Hammer, Handgun, Womp Glove, Chomp Shell, all the Happies, the the Tub Ring, and say two mushroom, two mid mushrooms, maybe three. Okay. Now we're gonna go to equip the Masher. Nope, Super Hammer Masher is still stronger. Happy Shirt I'll definitely take. Uh, the Amulet? Oh, the Amulet is a super power up there. It's a great item. The Jump Shoot basically just allows you to attack anyone with jumping. Uh, just spin me at an enemy. 
the chomp shell man. Armor. Happy shell. Keep the zoom shoes. Because he can't use the batel brink or the jump shoes. So you know what, actually? I might give the amulet to Geno. And instead give the jump shoes back to Mario. You can't actually even use the tub ring yet, I'll use it later, because you need a toadstool as your character, as a playable character to do that. Finger shot for handgun, that helps. Happy cape for, instead of the mega cape, that works. Uh, symbols for womp glove, that works. Happy pants, instead, that works. And we'll keep the true form. That works. Okay, no time to sell. Sell the weaponry. I no longer need... Uh, Chomp Shell, Super Hammer, or the Megas. I'll leave the rest of the stuff there because I don't remember whether or not I can sell them. I'll check for that later. And as you notice, I now have a lot stronger equipment. Saving a Mary more, and that is what we're done with this video. I will not actually close out and save when I was supposed to do it with a save. Uh, please subscribe, comment about what you want to see. We'll actually open up to new games. If anyone has any games that they want to try have me try, let me know. I'll take a look to see what I can do. I have, mo I have most of the Super Nintendo and NES games, as well as some Game Boy Advance games. Uh, 64 games I'm working on. It's not fully up to date yet. And that should work. I think that's about it. Uh, thanks. And see you on the flip side and other quotes to end a video with that other people use.